And welcome back to the channel everyone. Today here you can see we've got laid out in front of us an Intel Core i7-7700K and the uh, Rocket Cool D-Lid kit as well as everything that we need to reapply the IHS. So a lot of people will D-Lid the chips to drop the temperature and then use something like the Cool Laboratory Liquid Pro here and then put the chip back into the socket and then use the brace to clamp it down to secure it but me personally I like to actually reattach this so that when you take it out of the motherboard it's just like it is here you know the IHS is still in place and it's like it came from the factory so this is this part here is the relit kit this is the delit kit so we've got it kind of ready so we're going to go ahead and do the process so it's really simple you simply take the processor and you set it down here in the tray it's like that so you get it down in there it stays in there snug you want to take this make sure that's pulled back flip it over of course have it in the right direction it's kind of you can't really put it in backwards it only goes in one way so we're gonna go ahead and push the retention screws here it takes a uh, quite a bit to get those screw down they're pretty long all right so once you got those all the way down in there so what it does is there's that little brace that moves along here and actually pushes the ihs off so i'm going to tighten this down so that it's snug so see here take it here twist it and it broke free here just a little bit of a pop back it out so I'm going to go ahead and set those there because that's where we'll use them next for the relit process. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. So take this part. We actually won't need this anymore. So I'm going to set it over completely to the side. Take this here. Now something before we go any further, you want to take note of the orientation here that the notches on the top here are at the top of the text. So that just helps make sure that when you put it all back together that you put it to get back together right. So it's loose here it's still a little bit stuck on there and that's where you want to use something like this to get under it to finish lifting it on off so this stuff is tacky so there we go so it's off of there so you see you can see the die and the thermal paste on that as well as on the IHS now you can use your preferred method of cleaning. Me personally, I'll be using a coffee filter as well as the ArcaClean cooling here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off real quick and then we'll pick up from there. So I've gone through the pro process of cleaning the internal IHS as well as the uh, die there is good and clean, but we've still got this residue from the adhesive that they used or the silicon silicone that they used to keep it together so that's where I recommend taking something like a card this is an old hotel room key and then just taking it and just kind of scraping the excess off because we're going to replace this with some fresh silicone here in just a few moments that will reattach it and we don't want to leave this on here because that'll leave unwanted space between the IHS and the PCB. And we'll do the same thing here. Just be a little easy on it. You're just basically getting the curled up edges off of here, getting it back down flush and flat. That's basically what you're gonna do. All right, so once you've got it all cleaned up and you're ready to go, you wanna go ahead at this point and apply the uh, Cool Laboratory Liquid Pro. Now you can use Ultra, it's a better compound than the Pro, but for me, I like the Pro better for application purposes because it uses this little tiny needle tip. Now the catch here is you only need a very small drop. You don't need much at all. Oh, and it's, all right, there we go. That little bead there may actually be more than enough so what we do is take our q-tip because it's not the q-tip isn't going to absorb it so you take it and then you make sure you keep it on the die and then you spread it around the entire die make sure you get full coverage on it all right so there's what you look like with the liquid pro all over it 
Now at this point, it's a little bit uh, messy, if you will. So I'm going to take this here black uh, rubber silicon, silicone, and I'm going to make a dab right here. This stuff is, I would recommend not using this particular brand because this one is quite, um, quite messy. I don't really care for it myself, but it's all I have available here and we're not going to run to the store to get something else. And it actually works just fine. You just need to make sure that this gets mixed up properly. All right, so. And it's not gonna take a lot. You just take it and get you some beads on here around the edges. You're not, you're gonna make sure you don't run it across the middle here because that's where obviously the die is gonna sit. So, let's see. All right, just run, like I said, a small bead along the edges. Now this little bit here that ran over, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape that off. All right, so we've got it ready. I'm gonna take our relid toolkit and line it up. It goes right on here. It's gonna make sure we put the IHS back in the spot it needs to go in. Uh-oh. So let it slide on down in there. So it lined it up. Now that it's good and lined up, I'm going to take this, get it right back over here, bolt her down. Do all three screws around the edges. And then we want to screw this center down and the center is going to make sure that there is good contact and that the IHS rest as tight to the PCB and the center die as possible. While again, making sure that everything is lined up so that when you put it back in the CPU tray, everything's just the way it should be. All right, so I'm gonna leave this cu to cure for quite some time. I'm gonna give it at least couple hours or better and we'll come back and see how it fares and we'll see what our results look like so I'll see you right back at that all right so now that we've got the CPU back together and back in the computer just want to take a quick look at the equipment that we're using of course we've got in the bit Phoenix Shogun case that we took a look at recently now I do have both side panels off as well as the top cover so that there's no restrictions on the cooler for doing this so that we can take a look at basically just the cooler and the CPU to see how they perform now this is the i7 7700k like we've already discussed many times the Asus Maximus Nine Hero motherboard, 30, uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 3200, and the cooler is a Cooler Master Master Liquid 280 Pro. Now we did replace the fans that it came with with Noctua A. FA 14s and we are running them at 100% load, so 1500 RPM static, so that we can get a reading. Now on screen we have it recording while running at 5 gigahertz at 1.35 volts with load lot calibration set to level 5 which leaves us a constant voltage of 1.328 volts. Now first what we're going to look at while this is on screen we're going to talk about stock. I did do stock just to see how things performed at stock with auto voltage and everything. So under the non d lid we got 71 degrees Celsius which is pretty toasty for a 280 mil rad on a stock at 4.5 um, now moving over to the d lidded we ended up with 51 C so straight up 20 degrees Celsius drop in that now moving over to overclocked with pre d lid we had 92 degrees Celsius which there was um, the occasional spike uh, had jumped up to 97 on one of the cores but we never really saw thermal throttling with the side panels off but everything closed up there there was the occasional throttle at 5 now after D lid we're looking at the CPU at 64 degrees Celsius and that's after 30 almost 35 minutes of running the Ida 64 extreme CPU test so Again, 64 degrees Celsius down from 92, you're looking at a 28 degrees Celsius drop. That's a humongous drop. Uh, kind of makes me a little bummed out that it, it 
that you had to do this to get that kind of a, a, a drop because this is a fairly fast chip and with that much temperature reduction it's like the whole thing kind of cooled down a little bit but that's that's where we ended up here and basically the point of this video was to show you how to delid and relid the CPU for uh, best use of it but that's uh just want to share some results with you guys and this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we'll catch you in the next video